Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to the global community of the Kringle Society. Once again, this is your TVC pastor, Isaac Lego Nelson, and it is a pleasure today for reaching you. And as I always say, you know, everyone has a role to play, just as the body, so many parts, but each part play its specific role. We are so many in this community, and uh, some of us has a specific role to play, and that is to lead the community, the selected few who are willing to join hands together in prayer, in intercessory, for the Kringle Society, and for the, 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 the broadcasters, the admin and individual, everyone in the community. We have taken it upon ourselves to rise every morning in prayer, it is a very tedious task. It's not easy because prayer in history have never been an easy thing. Yeah, people that take upon themselves to pray have always had several setbacks and attacks and things that discourages you from doing sin. But we will never give up because it is a heavenly calling and we know who has assured us to do this. And therefore, as you join hands with me every day and we begin to call upon the name of our God, we believe for sure our God will answer and he will push us into liquidity. Very soon, things will get better. You see, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, as you read from the chapter 52, Isaiah chapter 52, from the verse of 7, that how beautiful upon the mountain are the feet of him who brings good tidings, or good news, who proclaim peace, and who brings glad tidings of good things, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. How beautiful, how beautiful upon the mountain are the feet of him who brings good news and who proclaim peace, who brings glad tidings of good things and who proclaim salvation and who says to Zion, your God reigns. You see, there are few people that brings this good tidings. And the Lord says, how beautiful are their feet. The few people that speak good about the community who rises every day to pray and asking for salvation of the entire community are few, but spiritually they are so beautiful. When you take upon yourself to join this uh, revolution, God will bless you. And I want you to do one wonderful thing for me to promote this particular program. That is subscribe to the page and share as much as you can. Subscribe to my the YouTube channel that upon which you are you are you are watching this, you know, just subscribe. Don't watch and skip without subscribing. When you subscribe, you do good to yourself. You do good to the entire community. Afterwards, I wish you could share to as much people as we want because the more the voices, the more the voices that pray, the faster we will progress in our vision. The more people rise up to pray, the faster the progress of the community. And therefore, we need more contingents that will rise up to cry upon the Lord every day. Very soon, we are going to take a different dimension. We'll be having live uh, prayer sessions in which you and I will be joined together on StreamYard, or Zoom, or YouTube, or wherever. We will be there and we shall pray across the whole globe, from the whole world. Those that can hear our voice, we shall all come together and we call upon our God. Just as the days of Elijah, there was this task that you called your God, and I will also call my God. And the God that answered by fire, he shall be God. And we are serving the God who answers by fire, who has the ability to, to, to cause impossibilities possible. And therefore, whatever seems to be very impossible in your progress since you came into this community, the Lord has the power to make it soften and help us so that we can progress in this godly agenda. And today, I have a wonderful topic I wanted to discuss, and it is, you need to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. You, as an individual, pray for yourself. There is a lot, there are a lot of forces battling the community. And as I told you, the community is now experiencing a mental battle, battle of the mindset battle of negativity, battle of the people within the community themselves. We've not yet experienced the external battle. Very soon, we're going to experience 
the, the Amalekites, the people who we are about to take over their kingdom, they shall rise and attack very strong. But they will yet come. We are still battling among ourselves. Mindset, the battle of the mindset. And you have to pray for yourself. If not, you know what it, what it is? You will be defeated. Now, it is obvious that the battle against the entire community will soon be won. And the moment the devil sees that he has lost the battle against the entire community, he'll begin to battle individuals. He'll begin to fight individuals. And that battle has already started. Such a godly agenda people are giving up. How long did it take you to send your child to school? How long did, you, did he spend in the elementary school? How long did he spend in the high school? How long did he spend in the college or university? Not less than 12 years, not less than 18 years, not less than 22 years before he became a graduate. You kept investing in him, isn't it? You kept paying the school fees right from infancy. You never gave up. You never said you are keeping too long. You kept paying with the hope that one day you bring something good home. That is it. You did it without any struggle. You did it without any complaint. You never complained against your child when he was in elementary school. I've taken you to school for over 10 years and you've not brought anything home. You don't even give me money. I'm giving up. Did you? All right. So why are you giving up in less than four years? You are giving up in less than four years because there is a battle going on against your mindset. There are forces that are willing to push you out of the masses that are going to enjoy in future. The luxury that the Lord has prepared ahead of us when we are able to enter into the kingdom, when we are able to enter into our economy, the luxury that is awaiting you, the devil wants to push you out. And that is why you are giving up. But remember, it doesn't take a day to be a billionaire. It takes a lot of courage and years to be. If the Kringle society has introduced any ordinary currency into the system, any ordinary coins into the system, it wouldn't have taken much time for it to hit its liquidity. But the quantum of, 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 of sources that he wants the masses or the individual to enjoy is so great that it needs a lot of mental battle to break through. It's not just an ordinary currency that you have in your wallet. For God's sake, we are talking about billionaires. People that are going to rule the next economy of the world. People that are going to take over from the most powerful people that we currently have in the world. It doesn't take just a day. It takes mental courage. You see, there was a time in the history of Israel when they had almost entered the promised land. That some people were pushed out because, I don't know, perhaps... They were not fit. A typical example is Achan. Achan had been among the warriors who battled right from the wilderness. Battled against the Amalekite, battled against the Amorite, battled against the Moabite, and so on and forth. And at long last, they've been able to break through. They came to Jericho. They fight Jer fought Jericho. And after Jericho, you begin to take possession. But unfortunately, a man by name Achan, who wanted to be rich faster. According to the book of Joshua, as we read the chapter of 7, with the verse of 10, you see the story of Achan there. Joshua chapter 7, that is reading from the verses of 10. The story of Achan is there. He wanted to be rich faster. He wanted to have his luxury faster. So he hastily, to the forbidden things, took away the forbidden thing. Now, when Moses or Joshua scrutinized the young man, this is why he said in the verse of Joshua chapter 7, the verse of 20, 20, and Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord, God of Israel, and this is what I have done. When I saw among the spoil a beautiful Babylonian garment, 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels. I coveted them and I took them. And there they are, hidden in the earth. 
in the midst of my tent with the silver under it. So, you see, there are great luxuries ahead of you. What are you doing with this Babylonian garment in the way of gold? Oh, so unfortunate. You see, people are giving up today. People are selling their wallet today for penny for coins. Small, small things because they are giving up. If you don't pray very hard, you will be tempted to even sell your wallet. Just like Achan wanted to be rich faster. He fell out from the lot and the masses who were destined to take over the promised land. You see, when you don't pray for yourself, personally you'll be attacked and you'll fall off. It was just left with some hours, few hours, for Jesus to usher his disciple into the next kingdom. And the devil battled the one, and unfortunately, less than three hours to end for Jesus to usher them into the kingdom, Judas Iscariot left out, abandoned the luxury of the kingdom of God to come. He went in search for just a piece of silver. He also fell from the lot. And you know one thing, his position was given to another. Very soon, we shall be hitting liquidity. We shall be entering our economy phase. And some of you have worked tirelessly for three good years, just left with a jiffy, a, 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 a twinkling of an eye will be there. But you see the battle on you, you are gradually giving up because the devil wants you to sell your birthright. God forbid, stand strong and pray every day that Lord Jesus give me strength, give me life, give me health to live until we are able to achieve our vision. If you don't pray for yourself, you will mobilize millions of people in, thousands of people to come in there, enjoy and you'll be left out. You need to pray for the individual so that they may not be discouraged. They may not be discouraged so that they will always have strong arms to battle and to rise and to pray and to give good tidings about the community. How beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news, who bring good tidings to of the Lord, who says, Arise Israel for your salvation is near. How beautiful are we. May God give you strength and understanding to understand that even if the, 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 the community is real, everything is real, the forces alone in your family may not allow you to be rich. The forces in your family may not allow you to be a billionaire. The forces in your family may not allow you to be a hero and therefore they will battle you to give up or they battle you to forsake, they battle you to die. May God forbid. That is why you need to pray for yourself. You see, whom does the armed robbers and people, bad people in the community attack? Do they attack ordinary people? No. They attack people that has good future, people that has something. If there is anyone the devil must battle, then it is you. Yeah, because you're, you are destined to change the world in the future. You are destined to lead a group of people from, from downtrodden into, into a life of abundance. You are destined to, 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 to be more loyal and to feed a lot of orphans and the needy. You are destined to help the poor, raising up the poor from the ash into the, the, the higher seat. You are destined to do a lot of wonderful things in your country. Open factories, build dams, help people, supermarket, malls here and there. You are destined to do that. And when you do that, humanity will be liberated. And that is why there will be an attack on you. And that's why you need to pray for yourself. That the Lord should sustain you and help you, give you that courage, tenacity, to keep pushing hard, to keep pressing hard. Unfortunately, if you fall off, your position will not be left vacant. Another person will come and occupy. When you fall off, your position will not be left vacant. Another person will come in and occupy. And as we are praying, I encourage you to mass up more people as you can to join the mass adoption team. Advise people as much as you can to join the mass adoption team. And as they keep joining and keep pushing hard, we will enter there. You see, it is for us. We decide when we want to enter liquidity. When we all rise today and say we are going to push it hard, we shall enter liquidity very soon. But when we are reluctant, sitting back in our closet and expecting someone to do the work, who will do it? You have to rise and I have to rise and we all have to rise and do the work before we will get where we are expecting. Don't give up. 
I know there are battles indeed, but at the end of the day we shall excel. Because the Lord is on our side and we shall win. The Bible says, Who are you, great mountain before Zerubbabel? How you shall become a plain. Who are you, valleys? All the valleys shall become a flat land. The Lord is going to raise every valley. He's going to bring down every mountain. And there shall be a highway in the desert, a way in the mountains and in the wilderness. And we shall excel. We shall go through. And we shall win one day. If we don't give up, we shall win one day. We shall get there one day. If we don't cease to pray, we shall get there one day. The more people rise up to play, pray, the more the community reaches its liquidity. God bless you. And may the Lord encourage you. And now, a little announcement to the community of divisions in Ghana. Uh, we shall be having a very, we are having a very wonderful program ahead of us. You know, we are going to have our fun day out, God willing, on the on the on the 19th of March uh, at Labadi Beach, and uh, that is where we are going to meet. The community is meeting there. We are going to have a very big gathering there, and from there, the next two days, and that is the uh, 21st of March, we shall be having our fourth anniversary. Yeah, and that is where we shall all meet, God willing, at uh, Bosokai. In Accra, Abosoka, in Ateku, Ateku, very near to the Bank of Africa at Abosoka, close to the Abosoka in Keneshi Central Mosque. Yeah, Nateku, that is where we shall be meeting to have our fourth anniversary. And it is a pleasure, our pleasure, to select a leader. We are willingly going to select a leader who will lead the Ghana team there. So if you are willing to be a leader, just bring your people down. We are going to select a leader. By any means, we shall select a leader. Either by appointment or by voting, we shall select a leader there. And when we select a leader, we shall all through our strength behind the leader to lead us, you know, because we need to be organizing programs, visiting communities here and there. We have to have uh, stakeholders interaction in which we're going to talk to opinion leaders in the country. And we need leaders that will champion that. There are some television stations that we have gotten the opportunity to go there and speak, but we need leaders that will champion such affair. And that's why it's high time we get leaders that will help us internally until admin brings his own leadership. We are going to select our interim leadership to lead the community. And when admin brings his leadership, we all surrender and then back such leadership with all our hearts and with all our prayers. All right, so that's just as I said, keep the dates. And that is 29th, uh, 19th of March. We shall have a fun day out. When you join our pages, you see the publicity there. And God willing, on the 21st of March, we're going to have our fair fourth anniversary. That is where we're going to speak much, and a lot of merchants are coming down. And if you have Kringles, just come. You'll be having something to buy with your Kringles. You know? Merchants are coming, and it's going to be a wonderful moment in Ghana, in which we all meet together to celebrate. God bless you, entire community of Tibetans. I, so re I respect your anointing. I respect your time. I respect your courage. And I respect your grace. God bless you. And may you live longer till TBC enter its liquidity. I pray for you that you will never die. I pray that you will never fall off. Despite the battle, the mental, psychological, financial battle you're going through, you will live longer to see the community go through. And if God permits, this community shall reign very soon. We shall reign. We shall take over. God bless you. Bye-bye.